nicely here. Balu, he's got Bayo. bayo has got a chance. bayo has got the finish. Balu on the assist. Eighth of the season. We take a 1-0 lead. Ready? Well, this could be a very interesting episode. We have a quarterfinal match in the Israeli Cup. And we may have a job interview in this one. I'm not sure. Hopefully so, because it's going to be a big upgrade. Let's go ahead and check it out. Hit the game button. Uh, we are we didn't play any matches. It's literally the same day for me. I could not wait to see if we get that job interview. I couldn't do it. You know, we have the uh, Israeli Cup, the quarterfinal. We're going up against Bitar Jerusalem, who we played in the last episode, which we drew 1-1. So it's it, it's going to be a tough one, I think. I mean, we should have won this match. We allowed a late goal, and uh, they equalized there. And, yeah, it was it was a bit disappointing. We're going up against Bitar Jerusalem, as I mentioned, and then Maccabi Haifa, who is having one hell of a season as well, sitting fourth in the league. Only three points separate us. So massive, massive episode lined up today, and not to mention, potentially, a job hunt for Maccabi Tel Aviv, who is arguably, I guess, the top club in Israel. It should be fun. It really should. I'm excited about it. Uh, if you missed it in the last episode, they came. We had a, a, an email asking, you know, what did we think about being linked to the job? And, and I kind of skimmed over it because a lot of times when the media calls, I don't really pay attention to them. But uh, I kind of glan- I kind of noticed it after the fact. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we, 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 we went and looked at the, what's it called? Not staff. It, it is staff. I'm stupid. Uh, click the right button. Jesus Murphy Breck. Uh, we went here and looked and seen that we was the top candidate for the job, the leading candidate. And we took a look. And Maccabi Tel Aviv is, is just a massive club. Estimated value of $82 million and uh, for estimated value of $1.4 so, obviously, I think we need to make the move. And as I mentioned, our contract here, it's it's around 38000 I think it'd be a massive, massive pay raise, which, in reality, the journeyman is about that. I mean, it's what you would do in real life. I'm not sure how you guys have reacted to this. Obviously, I'm recording it the same day. And, um, yeah, it, it's, a, it's a move I think we have to make if, if they come forward for us. But we're going to continue moving on like what we have. We've rotated the side just a little bit today, and that's because we've got a lot of tired guys out there. Not, they're not like just tired, tired, but Kamiha, you can see, he, he, he's got a little bit of tiredness. Turgs has got a little bit of tiredness. Um, Dakovac's got a little bit of tiredness. So we, we've rotated the side a little bit. Not not enough to be scared. we got Giraffe and Goal, back three of Habashi, Vetkovic, and Sobowali. Start that over. We got a back. We got in goal. Giraffe, a back three of Habashi. Kek, I cannot do his name. Kvetkovic. There we go. And Sobowali. Right hand side. We got Zazno. Left hand side. Cohen. In the midfield. We got Balu and Michael. In the middle. We got Agatiz. Up top. We got Naim and Bayo. Bayo looked good in the last episode. In the last match. So he is getting the start today. Turn myself on. Here we go. Quarterfinal. What happens if we win this? Like I don't know the what's the impl- like what's the what's the prize of winning it is it is it competition like is it international competition oh, it's a different sort of t- challenge for us today we have to I think so I mean let's just go let's just go to kickoff I'm ready to get into the match and, and I do want to see uh, obviously I'm not looking at this I'm I, I'm not looking at that player I just want to look at this take a look at the rules right quick what happens if we win. So you qualify for the Conference League second qualifying round. So there is European football if you do win this. So it'd be nice to go ahead and win this. I mean, obviously, it's the quarterfinal. We've got two more matches after this before we win it. but uh, And we could easily get knocked out today. Bitar Jerusalem has been decent. And we, we're we such a weird team. There's times where we, we score 4-0. There's times where we only can put up barely one. Vet, K- 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 I'm not I'm not going to be able to do his name today. Kvetkovic. There we go. Sobowali. Cohen now. We're moving it down this left-hand side. He gets closed down quickly. Has to play it back to Michael. There is a bit of pressing going on. Kvetkovic now. Back to Michael. We've worked it through the middle pretty nicely here. Balu. He's got Bayo. Bayo's got a chance. Bayo's got the finish. Balu on the assist. Eighth of the season. We take a 1-0 lead very early on in this quarterfinal matchup. Uh, Bayo set the record, I guess, for whatever this league's called, um, 
for the earliest goal scored in the last episode, it was 18 seconds in when he scored. This time it doesn't take much longer than that at one minute and 45 seconds around that. So nice stuff for him. Ready to get going again. Let's go. Let's let's see what happens. We've Like I said, we've rotated the side a little bit. So there is a little bit of concern. But these are guys that have played. You know what I'm saying? It's not like guys that we, we've, we've never played before. Cohen's had to play a lot. You know, so he's in the lineup. I'm trying to think of Kovetkovic, Sobowali, and Habashi, the back three. They have played a lot. Agatiz is the one question that hasn't played a ton. But when he has played, he's looked fairly well. So maybe, maybe he continues that today. That was a little bit of a scary highlight too, by the way. Michael on a free kick. Perfect area for him to take this. Go ahead. Absolutely bury it. Okay, Michael. 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 Third of the season. I mean, hey, he had to think about it, didn't he? But two, Neil. There we go. This is... This is this is this is the side that I wanted. I mean, it took 15 minutes for him to decide where he wanted to place it. Goalkeep was worried. Michael Wutton buried it. Good stuff. Two Neil. Uh, yeah, we'll work. We're working in box. I, I keep meaning to turn shoot offside off, and uh, I just keep forgetting to do it in between matches. I, I, I noticed it in the last episode, so it would be nice to to do something about that if I can remember. Okay, slow roll, slow roll. Okay, here we go, Zazno. Dagates, here we go. What do we got? Oh, hit a little bit of the, the stutter step. Nam, Nam on the finish. It's his fifth of the season. Zazno on the says Nam. Nam. Naeem has really got it going of late, and I am excited about this kid. Uh, he might be one of those guys that when we, if we do get the job, uh, we may consider trying to bring him with us, considering he is Israeli and I think that would be very nice. Him and Michael, and, and it sucks because we literally purchased turds from Maccabi Tel Aviv this past, or this season, like in the last two or three episodes it happened. Uh, I, I, I like turds. I think it makes me wonder, though, if he was out on loan and they was willing to sell him for that price, what, what, how good is their team? And why are they underperforming as much as they are? There, there's got to be a glaring hole there somewhere. Michael, he's hit a long ball. Jesus Murphy, he wanted Bayo to go on that run, but Bayo got hung up a little bit. Now we've got to worry about a counterattack going here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Giraffe with a beautiful save there to keep it 3-0. Okay, corner kick, upcoming. Okay, okay, let's do this. Okay, he was flailing like a fish out of water right there, but lucky for us it didn't really matter because it never really challenged him. Okay, okay, what do we got? Zazno on the right-hand side. Okay, okay, he's got space. Can he hit a lovely cross in? He hits one. I mean, goalkeeper comes out and gets it. And he sends everybody back. They're looking for something here. Abashi does a good job getting that back, saying, hey, 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 you ain't getting that over the top of us that easy. You might, you might do it here. You might do it here. Subo Wally's has been beat twice now, I feel like. We need, to, we need to close that down a little bit better than what we have been. Three minutes of added time. Half time. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we need to, hey, just justify praise, all that fun stuff. You guys know all about the justifying the praise. That's that's what we do here. Zazno's getting a little bit tired. Baloo as well. I hope we have Ephraim on the bench. I really didn't pay attention to that. And uh, Baloo, we're about to make two changes. Uh, we're going to make them a little bit early just because, like I said, we've got some tired guys and uh, it's carried into this match a little bit. Why don't I ever carry Ephraim on the bench? Just just never do it anymore. Can anybody else play there? Uh, oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, uh, man, Zazno needs to come out. We can put Tribs back there. Tribs is back near. Tribs and Nan Chimani's the only two guys that we have that can play on that right hand side. I mean, I guess like I'm thinking, okay. I'm thinking how I want to do this. We're it's gonna take a minute. I might end up cutting this bit out of the episode because it's taking me a minute. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. 
Okay, I kind of like that. That, that. that right there will work. Uh, we, we, we still hadn't took Zazno off the pitch, though. Uh, Tribs coming in. Cohen can play up there. I mean, like, like he's not... He's left-footed, and he can play as a wing back. He, he, he can play as a winger. Just do the stuff up a little bit further up the pitch. Uh, that'll help us out. And uh, Kamiha, I'm just going to drop you back on full back on defend. And I think those are the two changes we're going to make right now. I would like to get Blue off, but since we've had to reshuffle our lineup a little bit, uh, we're not going to be able to do that just yet. Okay, we've got a free kick here that's dangerous. It's dangerous. It was uh, very dangerous. It's 3-1 now. Here, here comes the comeback from Bitar Jerusalem. The letdown of our side. Now it begins. <sighs> okay. I was really hoping to keep a clean sheet today, but, you know, that's fine game. Midfield's getting battered out there. They're, they are a war slap out. Baloo is, is, is one tired fella. And uh, I normally don't like to make a change this quick, but I think we're going to. Harush can come on and uh, just drop back on support, bud. That's all we need you to do. And let's get, let's get out of this match. Let's get out of this match. I'm ready to get into the mode of, hey, we may be... I'm in the mode of, we may be getting a new job. And uh, if we do, we'll discuss it in a second. After this match, we'll discuss it. Because I don't want to spend too much time in Israel, to be honest with you guys. We've... With this taking a second job, it's going to be a short job. Agatiz doesn't put on the blasters today. I mean, he is a little bit tired. Like I said, we've got, we've got a lot of tired guys out here. Gil Cohen plays this to Michael Harush now. He's got Tribs on a run. Tribs can finish. Tribs on the finish. Tenth of the season. Harush on the assist. 4-1. There we go. That will do it. Just kick back, guys. Relax. You know, just, just take a break. You know, if you got a pillow, just fix it. It's, it's good. Life is good here at Ash Dodd this season. Nice. Nice finish by Trips. Ten minutes to go. Goal keep for uh, Bitar Jerusalem. Having a rough go today. Having a rough go. We got to throw in here. Maybe we can get another one out of this. They're playing a little bit of back and forth. Hits it into the box. And it's Kovetkovic on the finish. Second of the season for him. Trips on the assist. Trips comes in and makes a huge impact in this match. Fifth goal. Fifth goal of the season. 5-1. Jesus. Murphy. Brack. Learn. What you trying to say here? Here we go. I like I mean, Tribs is like a guy that's he's weird because he's only a three star player, but damn, he plays so much better than a three star, doesn't he? Three minutes of added time, and we're going to get out of here. And uh, I think you can say the FM gods was in our favor in this match. Just looking at it, XG Tribs seven point nine, good stuff by him coming in off the bench. Uh, the sound is everyone backtracking all that. Good job out there winning this match. We're going to the semifinal. Uh, we're all in this game to win. Let's not pretend otherwise some moments like this is what, what it's all about. Uh, it was a great strike from a player who really deserved it. There we go. There we go. So we win in the quarterfinal. Who's left in it? So Hapol Tel Aviv, right? Maccabi Takifa, Maccabi Netanya beat Maccabi Tel Aviv. 5-0. Big upset there. I mean, they must have rested their whole side, hadn't they? Because that was that was a beatdown. We're going to have a draw coming up pretty soon. Maybe maybe we have an interview before, before the next match. I don't know. It'd be fun, though. No news yet, but it is the time for the semifinal draw. So I thought we would take a look at this. Uh, Hapol Tel Aviv come off the board who are currently sitting. Where are they at? Fifth in the league. Okay. Okay. Maccabi Netanya. That means it's us and Tikva. Where's Tikva in the league? I feel like they're not like a great team. Okay, they're sixth place. They're not like a terrible team, but uh, a team that uh, performed somewhat decent. Where are they at? Okay, let's see. So we beat them in the Toto Cup 1-0. Have we played them? We drew against them in the league. We haven't played them again. Okay. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about hopefully getting in the final of this uh, Israeli Cup. We still haven't heard back from the the uh, job, the uh, the the thing we applied for, and, and I do want to discuss it, okay? So we talked about it. This happened last year in the journeyman where we had two jobs in the same nation, and after last year's journeyman, I was like, hey, we're not going to do that again. That being said, this is going to be a massive upgrade to us, right? It's 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 a massive, massive upgrade, and it's something that we have to do. I feel like it, it would be dumb 
not to do it, right? It's one of those things in real life, if this decision came down, you would make it. And that's what ultimately this is about for me. Uh, it's, it's something that we have to consider. But with all that being said, this will be a short job too, because I don't want to spend four years in Israel, right? I want, I'm good spending, what, two and a half seasons here, hopefully moving on to another nation, because I don't want to waste like we did last year, where we could have done you know, another nation instead of two jobs in South Africa. I don't want to do that again. I want to have another nation still here. And uh, hopefully we can do that. I'm, I'm still playing around right now, just trying to see if we get anything we haven't. So that being said, uh, it's it's close. I'm not sure if we're actually going to get this interview today. It doesn't look like it so far. And that's because uh, I'm simulating the game right now, right? And uh, not, 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 not th nothing has happened uh, yet. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a bit disappointed. I thought we'd be having a job interview at some point during this episode. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. Once again, uh, we've, we've rotated the side again. You know, you knew it was coming. Uh, we had a lot of tired bodies in that last match. So that being said, uh, we, we, we've done some stuff. Uh, Kvetkovic is injured. He's out for two to three months. This dude has had he's had injuries uh, for quite some time now. It's it's a bit it's a bit worrisome, right? I want to look at his medical report. So he pulled his knee, broken wrist. So it's, was these the same? Okay, different legs. I mean, he's, he's just had like a bunch of odd injuries, hadn't he? So this one is is pretty bad, though. This one's pretty bad. I'm, I'm a bit worried about that one. Kvetkovic is a player that's, he's a decent player, but I feel like we could bring in an Israeli for him uh, and clear up a, a, a spot. And unfortunately, we just haven't been able to. I'm going to bring Jabbar. I think Jabbar is actually going to play today. Jabbar is going to play over, what's his name? Harush. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that change. And I actually want Baloo on the bench today. Or not on the bench, off, off the match squad. So maybe he can get a little bit of rest. We got Giraffe and go a back three of Turg, Sobawali, and Habashi. Right-hand side, Ephraim. Left-hand side, Kamiha. In the middle, Jabbar and Michael. In the middle, we got Dakovac. Up top, nine and Bayo. Here we go. I thought about starting trips in this match. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, look at all that uh, red. Do not a lack of that. Not what we want to see. Uh, going up against a team that's sitting really close to us in the league. Both those fighting for that uh, that for international football this season. So it's going to be tough. They purchased Adazili from, from Maccabi Tel Aviv. I remember he was on that team last season. Or they signed him for free. I'm not sure. We'll take a look at that. Two points. No? No? Where are they at? I, I, I think it's three points that separate us. I think it's three points. All right, let's get out here. Let's get it underway. I do want to see. Do want to see that. How much did they purchase you for, Adazili? Okay, I thought he played for Tel Aviv. I'm crazy. I could have sworn that dude played at Tel Aviv last season. He played for him at one time in his career. Don't know why I thought that. Hey, hit play, damn it. Let's go. Let's get it underway. Uh, what is What place are they in? Third. Three points. Okay. Okay, so big, big matchup today. That guy's really good, too, by the way. That Den David, I've seen him. I've seen him pop up a couple of times. Not sure who he is. He's He's been good. Yeah, he's really good. Really good. 7.28 rating. We go down early, which is disappointing. We've been good, so good defensively, but this team is a is a team that's they're dangerous. You know, uh, we had Adazili, I think, at Crystal Palace, and uh, and my beta save. And granted, we never really played him because he had a lot of injuries, but he was somebody that was very technically gifted in 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 terms of attacking and then the den david guy has been freaking awesome for him this since we've been here so i'm i'm a bit nervous about this match you know i think the guys have a reason why to think our, our tactic can expose us at the back end of this match with us trying to play forward as much as we are and that might be something we change in a minute depending on how this highlight looks if it's another clear-cut chance for den david which it looks like it is he hits a dink there we're gonna to have to do something different for him because he's he's getting he's getting the better of us right now we're 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 definitely not dealing with him very well, are we? Uh, we're going to drop these guys back on support just to 
just to try to secure that up a little bit. Uh, and then, what do we want to do to Den David? Because I would like to do something to him. Just tightly mark him, I guess. Don't let him get past you. Because that's what it seems like we're doing right now. We're just letting him get right past the Sobo Wally. He moves us down to the left-hand side to Kami Hall. We've got space on that left-hand side. Plays it into Dakovac. Do we have our equalizing goal here? Maybe so. Kami Hall. We'll zoom in a little bit. Dakovac. He plays it to Naim. Ugh, just a little bit too far out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what happened there? What uh, happened there? 1-1. One, one. Is it going to stop? Like, I honestly don't know what happened in this. I kind of looked away from the screen because I was a bit disappointed. Uh, what happened? I, I, I seen the ball getting punted. Okay, I still want to see what happened in this play, though. So Bayo ended up with it. Okay, so I seen to this point, and I stopped. Bayo heads it for... Bayo done good right there to... <laughs> I mean, I'm not even mad at that play. That was a good little play by us. Uh, Bayo jumping to the occasion there to try getting into that and get us on the board. Uh oh, uh oh, we're getting beat bad. I mean, they've had three good chances against us that we have not dealt with. We have not dealt with this time. Uh, we're going to drop some encouragement on the side. 30 minutes is down. Ephraim's putting out a really poor performance. Uh, I think we may end up dropping these guys back a little bit more and actually playing with a flat back five because they are not they're not really helping out. And uh, Ephraim and uh, I almost said Nanchimani. Kamiha have been getting beat quite a bit in this match already. They're both putting out pretty poor ratings. We may make a halftime change with Ephraim coming off for Zasno as well. Okay, I don't like this match. Do not like it. I mean, we looked really good in the last one. Not so much this one. I'm fine with Kamiha putting that and making Bayo chase after it if he can get to it. He doesn't, but I, I, I'm totally fine with that clearance there. Okay, okay, I'm not. I, <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, guys. Ephraim's having a poor match. That's twice he's got beat. Like on this on this highlight, it seems like. We're going to make halftime changes. Don't worry about that because uh, this is getting poor. Two minutes of added time, and it may be something that we it, – it, it's tough because at this point I would really like to drop Jabbar back as kind of like a ball-winning midfield player, but down to Neil, it, it's kind of scary, but we're going to have to do something because this, this obviously isn't working today, and Ephraim is being really poor out. And uh, we're making halftime changes. I think we may actually do that. Th this is poor, though. Ephraim, you're coming off the pitch, bud. Zazno's coming on. And uh, we're going to drop you back as a ball-winning mid. To see if that kind of stops this little area right here from being so damaging. And, uh, Michael, I, I don't want to go so defensive, but I feel like we need to do some stuff defensively because this isn't working today. Zazno's came on the pitch. Okay, mate. Come on, guys. Let's get something now. We've changed it up a little bit. We've tried stopping some of those uh, runs that they're they're cutting inside on us on. Habashi, under pressure to Giraffe. I called him Giraffe that time. Really poor play there by him. Dakovac gets the possession here. Sobowale. Here we go. Jabbar back to Turgs. He plays it back to Giraffe. What do we got? What do we got? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Let it go. Okay, not like a dad. Three nil. I mean, like, like nobody closed on that. Nobody. <laughs> we, he just stood there. Like it was funny because like he literally just stood there. Watch you. I mean, just okay. I guess we just didn't expect him to take that shot. What is happening here, guys? Nam wanted something there. He wanted a pin, but uh, didn't get it. I think he was – lucky he was close to being off sides. Uh, guys, y'all know we can pressure these team, this team, right? This is bad. Uh, Jesus, Murphy, how many times are they going to hit that shot? 
That's twice that they've hit that. Four nil beat down. Kamiha having a poor game as well. Remember next time that this side uh, likes to go all out. <laughs> I mean, that's, I, I want to do some stuff different in the attack today too, but we haven't had an opportunity. We've had to make defensive changes because people like Kami Hall and, uh, and Ephraim just playing really poor. Naim's on a run here. He ain't going to finish. I mean, that's not going to happen today. We're not We're not getting a goal out of this match today. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys that. It's not happening. Uh, we're making another change. Kami Hall, you're, you're done today. You, you have been awful. You, the, the, uh. Uh. Yikes. Yikes. I feel like our, our uh, wingbacks really let us down today. I really feel like that because they, they... Usually they can get back and cover. Today, they didn't. Nimes just getting closed down so much today. But he does get a goal off here. Sixth of the season for Mbaio on the assist. 4-1 now. Bit disappointed in the, this match. Like, like Normally I'd be really excited when Nimes scores. Not today. I mean, he got closed down quick. Football manager has given us a little bit of payback for that quarterfinal match. The FM gods are not in our favors during this one. Got a free kick. Dakovac takes it and sells it into the crowd. Good job, bud. Attaboy. Attaboy. And he he's tired, too. Sobowale to Turgs. Move it over to Zasno. All right, we've worked it into the middle a little bit. Played it out to Cohen. Bayo on a run. He hits the... Hey, okay, 4-2. I mean, we found, you know, the last 10 minutes of the match, we decided to, to, to do something offensively. 4-2 now. Come back his own, baby. <laughs> okay, Dakovac is, is going to be our third and final change. He's he's tired. Uh, we're actually going to play Agatiz up top. He can be a pressing forward for us. Uh, we're just going to... I mean, i tell you what we honestly probably should do is this. Let's do this instead. Let's do something like that. I mean, certainly that's offsides, right? Certainly. I mean, I synced it. Hopefully the ref synced it. Okay. Okay, it's just allowed. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I mean, I was about to say that. That was bad from the start. That's a poor pass by Cohen. Yeah, our attack or our defense today really, really let us down. You know, it, it really did. I mean, because you look at the ratings of Sobowale, you look at the rating of Habashi, you look at the combined rating of uh, Kamiha and uh, Ephraim, both poor today. Goodness. Our, I mean, yeah. Hell yeah, guys. Just out here sleeping. 5-2. The FM gods cursed us on this one. They said, hey, you remember that match that you had last time? Yeah, we're going to get you back for that. Uh, that was terrible. Kamiha, furious performance. Uh, who else Who else do I want to get on to? Where are you at? There's one other guy. Uh, I'm looking for you, bud. I'm going to find you. There you are. <laughs> Just go ahead and demotivate those two. They're not playing in the next match, that's for sure. Um, I mean, this is what we're talking about. I prefer to be talking about the players, you know, that we have. Drops us down to third in the league. Very, very disappointing result there. Um, and our run comes to an end big time. I mean, we hadn't lost in, since the end of December. It's the middle of February now. That's that's bad. Uh, I'm, we're going to do it like we did last episode. I'm going to play to the next match, right? If we have the interview by then, we'll come back. If not, if the interview happens off screen, which it might very well do, I think we're going to come back either when the league splits, right, or if this tick of a match comes first. 
I'm not going to play both of these tick of a matches, but I think the tick of a match of the semifinal of the Australian Cup will be in the next episode. Uh, hopefully, we find out something about a job. I mean, it's not even that I, I really care. For, I, I Don't get me wrong. I think it'd be nice to get the job, but it's one of those that I'm not overly concerned if we don't get it. I don't plan on spending much more time in Israel anyways, but uh, it'd be nice to just know something. Well, here it is. They came and asked us to interview. So uh, I guess we're going to do this. We're going to sit down with them. And uh, I, I am interested in this. You know, I think it's a team that it's, it just makes sense for us. It's great to be here. Let's get started. Some people may have been, okay. Uh, I believe my, uh, I don't want to say that. I have le at least worked here before and would not uh, expect it to take very long for me to get up to speed. Back. No, I think I've done a good job there and uh, plan on bringing all the good momentum with me on the ground hunting. We'll say that one. Mm, uh, I think we'll make the promise here, you know, of saying that we've learned from those mistakes. Mm -hmm. There will be no problems in the locker room. <laughs> I say that after after the last one. Uh, are you the right person to turn this underachieving club around? Uh, I'm a motivator. I always adapt to a positive uh, situation. You get it. Uh, I'm happy to take charge immediately. I can't wait to start the job. More than happy with working with Claudio. He's he's a great guy. He, uh, you know, me and him we've talked on and off the pitch before. You know, he's he seems like a really stand up guy. Uh, I want to need a budget since I don't make any, any changes. So they want us to play develop players using the club youth system, which you guys know I do like. They want us to play attacking football, entertaining football, high tempo football. It sounds just like me. Okay, we're going to be playing attacking and pressing. Uh, sign players under the age of twenty three for the first team. Maintain the club status of the most reputable team in Israel. Uh, work within the payroll, sign players to sell for profit, minimum to your contracts. Uh, this season, they're not judging the league. Next season, they want us to win the domestic cup and, and keep challenging for the league. Uh, I think that's an exciting future. That's fine. You know, uh, we have no expectations. For, okay, yep, 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 yep. That's fine. What's next? Uh, do you know? Not that I can think of. We, we can ask for a coaching badge afterwards. And it says we are close to taking over. Wow. So the next episode, either we're coming back with a semifinal of the Israeli Cup or we're coming back with a new job. That's basically what it comes down to. And can't wait to find out. Hey, the FM gods in this match, they was very uh, happy with us in the first one. Not so much in the second one. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.